Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Miss Bunny's Quiet Corner. I have another great book for you today. It's called Up, Up, and Away. Up, Up, and Away. Donald and his friends were standing outside the clubhouse on a crisp, bright day. Oh, Donald, said Daisy, look at the sky. Isn't it lovely? Shh, Donald whispered. Don't make a move. Something is following me, and I'm going to find out who or what it is. Daisy giggled as she looked behind Donald. Oh, my, said Daisy. There is something following you. It's wearing a sailor's cap, just like yours. It's got cute webbed feet, just like yours. And when you move, it moves too. Ah, phooey. Donald quacked as he turned around and saw his shadow. That's a fine looking shape, but I still don't trust it. The friends laughed at Donald as he glared at his shadow. Cheer up, buddy, said Mickey. Why don't you leave your shadow on the ground and come with me? I don't know, Donald moped. Where are we going? Up, up, and away, Mickey cheered. Who wants to help Minnie and me fly our hot air balloon? I sure do, shouted Goofy. You can count me out, Donald grumbled. I don't trust that thing. Besides, he added, I'm not missing lunch. Oh, uh, come on, Donald, Minnie pleaded. I've packed a square meal for each of us. Up, up, and away. Something's wrong, said Mickey. The balloon won't fill with air. That's too bad, buddy, said Donald, trying to hide a grin. I guess we'll just have to go back to the clubhouse for lunch. Oh, toodles, Mickey said. Do we have a mouse katool that can help? Toodles appeared. Do any of you know how we can use this tool? Mickey asked. I know, Mickey, answered Minnie. We can turn the crank to inflate the balloon with hot air. Wow, you're right, Minnie, Mickey shouted. We've got ears. Say cheers. Soon the friends were floating high above the clubhouse. Up, up, and away, cried Daisy. This is fun. Look, everyone, yelled Minnie. Can you see the clubhouse from here? It looks so small, and there are so many shapes below us. I see a heart, a triangle, and a rectangle. What do you see? Heart? A triangle and a rectangle. And this is a diamond shape. I see a triangle too, Mickey shouted. And there are Chip and Dale playing a round of golf. It should be called a triangle of golf, laughed Daisy. Just look at all those triangle-shaped flags. What's a triangle, asked Goofy, as he bit into his sandwich. A triangle is a shape with three sides that all have points at the ends. Sort of like your sandwich, Minnie explained. Or like that, Goofy questioned, as he pointed to a huge triangle in front of the balloon. It was the top of a mountain. Suddenly, a gust of wind whisked the friends right toward it. We need help, cried Mickey. Oh, Toodles! Toodles appeared with a triangle, a patch, a ladder, and a spyglass. 
Which tool should we use? asked Minnie. Let's try them all, said Mickey. Daisy, ring the triangle for help. Daisy rang the triangle, but it didn't help them get off the mountain. Minnie patched the hole. Minnie put a square patch on the round hole in the balloon, but it was too small. Goofy looked through the spyglass. Goofy held the spyglass and saw that the ground looked very far away. There's only one tool left, yelled Mickey. To the ladder! Mickey dropped the ladder over the side of the balloon. We've got ears, say cheers, said Mickey. If we can get the balloon to go back up, then we'll have... If we can't get the balloon to go back up, then we'll have to go down, one step at a time. Me first, me first, shouted Donald. We're going to do this fair and square, Mickey announced. Take a piece of paper with a number on it. Whoever gets number one goes first. Whoever gets number two goes second. Get the idea? The friends headed down the ladder one by one. Everyone was happy to be standing on firm ground again. We're in great shape, unlike our balloon, said Mickey. But we're going to have to hike back home. It's not far, just down the path. Or maybe that's the one. The, friend, the friends trudged along, growing more and more tired. I think we've been walking in circles, Mickey finally said. I'm sure I've seen this tree before. Oh, Toodles! Toodles appeared, showing three pictures of Mickey. Mickey shared them with his friends. I'm standing in front of the clubhouse, and my shadow is different in each picture. In the morning, my shadow falls in front of me. At noon, I have no shadow. In the evening, my shadow find, falls behind me. Do any of you know what this could mean? The friends studied the pictures carefully. I've got it, Donald shouted. Right now, it's late, and the sun is setting behind us. Total shows that in the evening, our shadow points toward the clubhouse. If we follow them, they'll lead us back home. Donald was correct. The shadow helped the friends head in the right direction. Soon they arrived back at the clubhouse. Everyone was hungry from the long trip. Well, Donald, said Daisy, do you trust your shadow now? I'll trust the handsome guy to lead me home, Donald answered. But he better not ask me to share my pie. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed this book, and if you did, give it a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the little bell. That way you always know when there's a new story. Bye-bye!